Anyway, I got uh, my Galaxy S8 running the Galaxy Note 8 ROM. Um, this pretty much gives you all the software features of the Galaxy Note 8. It's a complete port from a Note 8 software. Uh, what I've got here is a Galaxy S8. This is the International SMG uh, 950U. Hi guys, Max from High on Android.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I've got the Galaxy Note 8 Experience ROM running on my Samsung Galaxy S8. This is the international Exynos version, the SMG 950U. You can also install this on the S8 Plus. Um, you can only install this on Exynos models, all right? Korean models should all also work. Let me go ahead and show you the changes because the software is nearly identical, so um, there's not a ton of changes, but obviously you don't have an S Pen, so you will have to actually leave the S command on. Uh, you can do that in settings. Just simply go to settings, advanced features, go to S Pen. Uh, make sure you go ahead and toggle floating icon and you'll be able to use the S Pen. Now this is still early stages, so not everything's working, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the things that are working. For example, notes are working just fine. You can go ahead and write notes without the S Pen save that's really nice um, number two um, some smart select now with smart select you won't be able to actually use it because there's no option to turn on s uh, pen um, but you will be able to use a gif animation recording so that's the limits right now now later on developers should be able to um, enable everything working also screen write right now does not work screenshot works just I can't write anything over it. All right, um, however, live message does work. Let's go ahead and write note eight ROM. Yeah, so this is one of the major features that was announced um, with the note eight. So you'll be able to try that also. All right, and you can go ahead and share it. Okay, also translate, I sh wasn't able to get it working yet. Um, Bixby Vision um, should work just fine. Um, but other than that, this is a fully port. You'll get all of the Note 8 version of the same apps. And also, this is a full port, meaning your model number will also change to SMN950U. Um, also, software is running the latest Android 7.1.1, Samsung Experience version 8.5. Pretty good ROM. Also, does come with Magisk uh, Manager that you can go ahead and install and let me see if I can pass safety net I for this ROM I wasn't able to uh, pass safety net so you might not be able to get Android pay working uh, obviously also Samsung pay doesn't work um, S health should be working all right uh, everything should be working except for secure folders and obviously Samsung pay all right but overall not bad ROM I mean you're gonna get all the new features and of course you do get um, dual apps floating edge so you could do the new note 8 create a pair let me go ahead and choose Chrome let's choose Twitter done so let's say I want the Chrome Twitter pair boom shakalaka so that looks really good for the Note 8 ROM. Overall, it's a pretty good ROM. You're pretty much going to get all of the software features found in Note 8 without the Note 8 camera yet, unfortunately. We'll see that soon. Obviously, there are hardware limitations. But for right now, you can pretty much enjoy all of the software from Note 8 right there on your S8 or S8+. Plus. Installation is really easy so long as you have an international Exynos model of S8 or S8+. Plus. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, first things first, if you're gonna go ahead and install ROMs on your phone, um, make sure you have the OTG cable that came with your phone, all right, and a USB flash drive. I do recommend this. Uh, starting with Android 7.0 Nougat, there's issues uh, with security encryption, so you may have to delete everything. Before you begin, you may lose everything uh, by following this tutorial. So make a backup of everything. Um, you're gonna copy over your ROM into your USB a flash drive and also have one of these all right all right guys first thing you're gonna do is boot into torp recovery all right um if you already rooted your phone with a custom rom you should know how to do this now for those of you did not install uh torp recovery let me show you how to do it all right first we're gonna put it into download mode so go ahead and hold down volume down bixby and the power button 
All right, this will get you into this warning screen. Go ahead and hit the volume up and that will get you into downloading mode. And you're gonna go ahead and connect a USB Type-C cable from your phone to your computer. Now, for those of you, uh, again, with Torp Recovery installed, you can go ahead and skip this step and just boot into Torp Recovery. So go ahead and fast forward. Hi right, guys, you'll need to download um, Samsung USB driver. If you don't have it yet, this is for installing Torp Recovery. Um, go ahead and download uh, the file. I'll have links here. Now there's a lot of um, place to click. Just scroll down to where it says download here. Click here to download. All right, that's all the way you could download all this, uh, all the files here. You also need to download Odin3 um, blah blah dot zip. Go ahead and extract all files and you'll get a folder with uh, two files in it, odin.exe. You also need the latest uh, twerp recovery for your Note 3, sorry, Note 8, sorry, S8 or S8 Plus. So I've got an S8 here, uh, Exynos, so I'm gonna choose that. If you have S8 Plus, S8 Plus, go ahead and choose that and download that. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this here and I'm gonna go to download links and um, go ahead and download the latest version uh, with the file ending in .tar. So I'm gonna go ahead and download 3.1.1.2, blah, blah, .tar. This is for the S8 Exynos. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and also download that file. This is the Torp recovery we're gonna go ahead and install on your S8 or S8 Plus. All right, next go ahead and double click on odin3.exe. Go ahead and run the program. And you should see something like this. If you do see a um, blue highlighted box like this, you do have proper drivers installed. Now, if you don't see this, then you'll have to actually install the drivers. Um, so go back to your download folder and go ahead and you should have downloaded the Samsung USB driver um, file. Go ahead and double click and run it and you should be able to see uh, this highlighted box, which means you have proper drivers installed. If you don't see it, if you still don't see it after installing, try turning it off and turn it back on or rerun the program. All right, next, you're gonna go ahead and choose AP and you're gonna go to your downloads folder and go ahead and choose uh, the latest file you downloaded, which is the uh, twerp 3.1.1-2 dreamlt.img.tar. That's the one for S8. If you download it for S8+, Plus, it might be slightly different. Go ahead and click OK. All right, this is very important, so you can get it get into uh, Torp Recovery the first time. Um, you're going to go ahead and hit Start. As soon as the screen turns off and turns back on, you're going to go ahead and hold down Volume Up, Big Speed, and the Power. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Start. All right. Screen goes down, Volume Up, Big Speed, and Power. Hold it like that, and you get a, a like that, and then go ahead and let go of the Power button and boom shakalaka. You should now be in Torp Recovery, all right? If you're not in Torp Recovery, uh, you may have done something wrong. It might say at this point, if you just installed Torp Recovery, I'm um, to allow modifications, all right? Um, simply choose, simply do not swipe. Uh, sim simply, sim simply do not choose to wipe to, um, simply choose not to wipe, simply choose not to wipe Simply choose, simply choose allow, simply not allow uh, modifications yet. All right, here is where your flash drive becomes very handy. You can also make a backup of your current stock ROM. Oops, um, before that, let's go ahead and download the ROM files and also copy it over to USB flash drive. So for the ROM, you should get uh, two parts here. It's called the uh, blah blah experience uh, x1.zip and x2.zip. Copy both of these files to the USB flash drive you're using here, which I've copied over here. All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take on that flash drive I copied over the ROM files here, and I'm going to plug it in to my S8 here. The case might get in the way. Here, if you want, you can make a backup of your current everything pretty much. All right. If you want to do that, go ahead and go to backup and go ahead and swipe. And go ahead and change the select storage to USB OTG. That will allow you to save your current stock ROM, um, the whole thing to your flash drive. So later on, you can use the restore feature to restore it. All right, if you don't care about that, then let's keep going. Now, by now, you should have um, the ROM file here and also Torp Recovery installed on your S8 or S8 Plus. 
The ROM files are same for the S8 and S8 Plus, by the way. All right, the first thing you're gonna do, if you're coming from stock ROM, if you just installed Twerp, you're gonna have to do a data wipe. So you're gonna go ahead, have to go to Format Data and say yes. This will delete everything on your phone, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So just be aware, um, before that, if you made a backup into your flash drive, you should be good to go since you have a copy of it. Uh, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and reboot into recovery. Do not install. This is only for those of you just installed Twerp. If you're coming from another stock ROM, if you're coming from, if you already rooted with Twerp recovery, you don't have to do this. All right, you can just keep it read only. Now this is the regular install of a ROM. All that wipe data was for those of you coming from a stock ROM. So installation is really easy. Go ahead and simply go to wipe, factory reset, hit the home button, go to install, go to select storage, your OTG USB drive, or you can use a micro USB, or you could also use a micro SD card up here, by the way. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and choose the first one, the one in, ending in X1. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose add more zips and I'm gonna choose the X2 file. And I'm gonna go ahead and confirm to flash. That's pretty much it. And we're gonna go ahead and simply follow directions uh, on the screen. We're gonna go ahead and simply follow the direction here. Go ahead and click next, next. Uh, full wipe, yes. And also for root, I recommend Majisk. All right. And here's some different options. Um, if you want LT icon, uh, for example, if you want 1060 uh, fonts extra, iOS emojis, if you want Google Assistant support, um, also, you will want Netflix fix if you need it. That's all the options there's pretty much is. Um, CSC, go ahead and choose CSC um, closest to your region. It doesn't matter too much, but I'm choosing um, United Kingdom. And go ahead and hit install. And that's pretty much it. All right, when that's done, go ahead and hit next. Finish. And don't reboot yet, say no. And swipe to unlock. And it should have now installed um, the second part. That's pretty much it. Hit in, uh, reboot. Do not install. And you don't need um, this anymore. Let's go ahead and see. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8. All right, guys, once you got to the welcome step, you should be good to go. Um, go ahead and sign in and enjoy your Galaxy Note 8 software features on your Galaxy S8. And thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you want more content like this. And I will see you guys on the next one. As always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.